Welcome back to the channel. I said before that I would not do any more Star Trek Lower Deck videos unless of course something significant or incredible happened. And damn, did both of my criteria get met. I have ne I never thought for one second that Lower Decks could stoop any lower, get any stupider, but Damn, did this just blow my mind away on how incredibly moronic the writing was for this particular episode. Of Gods and Angels has got to be one of the most poorly written stories that I have ever seen in any science fiction show, let alone animated series. This thing was bad. Now, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I know there's lots of people out there who absolutely love Lower Decks. More power to you. You get a kick out of this humor? That's great. But for me, especially this season right here, it's like the writers found out that they were losing the show and they just decided to get lazy with the writing. It is just that bad of a season for me. And this particular episode just sucks. So the Cerritos is supposed to be brokering a peace treaty between, and mind you, these are some in intelligent names, some real creative thought went into the names of these alien species. Get ready for this one. The orbs and the cubes. Wow, there was just some imagination that went into this, don't you think? Uh, I... Ransom to Freeman. Uh, go ahead. We could use you in the conference room. The cubes have an issue with Article 10. They don't like that the 10 has a zero. It's too round. On my way. The cubes have a problem with Article 10. The zero, it, 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 it's too round. The cubes have a problem with this. This is the writing that we're dealing with. This is the story that they decided to go with. And I'm just saying that this is a clear example of, of them just giving up. This episode just sucks. And now on to the next problem with this fantastic episode. This is Ali, the daughter of Zeus. Whoa, she's a demigod? That's not Starfleet terminology, but yes. Ali's the descendant of the psychokinetic being that presented itself as Zeus. Didn't Kirk kick their asses? I, I thought they all went off and became one with the wind or whatever. Okay, does anyone else out there remember the original Star Trek crew and the episode Who Mourns for Adonis? Zeus! Hermes! Hera! Aphrodite! You were right! Athena! You were right! The time has passed! There is no room for gods. Forgive me, my old friends. Did Kirk kick Zeus's ass? Did I miss something in that episode? Well, this is what we're getting, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is honestly the low of the low. Now, in typical Lower Decks fashion, aliens will come on board, the cubes and the orbs. God, those are terrible names. And as usual, there will be some kind of a misunderstanding. There'll be fights. There'll be craziness. Oh, it'll be a slapstick, funny adventure. The ship will get fired upon. It'll get wrecked. It'll be craziness all over the place. I know people out there like this cartoon, but for me, this is just plain stupid. There is nothing science fiction or adventurous about this. Now, I would love to hear your thoughts and comments on this episode. If you have seen it, please tell me what you think. If you have not, I still want to know your opinions on Lower Decks. So please, drop those comments below and let me know. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.